I'm back! Tip top of the morning to all laddies! Yes, it is I, your beautiful and smexy Lord Chonkers, here with another Space Engineers video. And today, I thought of something crazy. What is the absolute best fighter that I could make in Space Engineers? I'm Lord Chonkers, and you've made so many great fighters, and why are you just focusing on one amazing fighter right now? Well, let me tell you, I had an epiphany, a dream, more or less, that we had a ship to rule every category in space. Great flying, amazing defensive capabilities, decoys, self-regeneration, speed, firepower, sex appeal. This ship will be the magnum condom of all ships. Or, or, this ship will be the magnus opus of all ships. Okay, so realistically, we are going to design a ship that's just a really all-around good fighter. We're not going to think about size. We're not going to think about <coughs> uh, amount of guns. We're just going to go for an all-around great fighter that we can build and make. So if you've seen my videos before, I like to start out with a good, you know, shape of the fighter. I have an idea in my head. I think what I'm going to go for is somewhat of a, a v structure so you know big long wings mm, actually you know what Let, let's go let's do something crazy let's do uh, a, a b wing like a b wing design so we got that cockpit on the side it's uh got that huge long wing and then two uh, 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 like other wings on it you'll, you'll see you'll see what i mean so the first thing we're gonna do we're gonna map it out we're gonna get an idea and a layout of what we want on the ship. It's looking pretty cool, I think, yes. Okay, so, as you can tell, we kind of have that B-wing shape and structure, but obviously the B-wing is, is known for its swiveling cockpit. So, you know, it, it has an attack form that way. And I believe it can go like 360 all the way around. And it also has like four lasers on each wings. But what I decided, you know, put my own touch on it. I think what I'm gonna have is essentially the middle part of the ship 
is kind of the main engine hub. You know, that's where the power is. That's where all the thrust is. So we'll have all of our directional thrust, everything, mostly everything in that area. Hopefully we'll have enough room so that we can have side thrust inside the wings without it being exposed. Um, to kind of hide that detail and everything as well as have all the components coming from there And then the cockpit is actually just on the wing So we have the wing where you drive and you sit on the cockpit and you can control it And then over here on the opposite side will be housing for most of the guns or like, you know uh, Like a missile rack or like some rocket pods and then on the very tips of the wings I've got a special little surprise for that. I, I think you may like that. I this that I'm gonna come up with. And on the back, I was gonna have a door so you could walk inside the ship, close it, and it'd be like airtight. Or I was gonna have some sort of turret on the back, maybe. I'll design it as I go on, but I, I think that's gonna be the our best option. As well as I may add some folding wings on top of the engine cell, like right here, kind of like the B-wing, so it has, or maybe on the cockpit. I don't really know yet. Uh, again, I'll play with it. We'll, we'll see see how it goes. But uh, yeah, let's just continue with this build.
Yes, there it is. The Nightmare Shadowcraft. Here to conquer the galaxy. I mean, in all reality, it's not that great of a fighter, but it looks fucking epic. Mmm, bonus points for sex appeal, you know what I'm saying? So it's not quite a B-Wing, but I think it does it justice. I don't know if that makes sense. Am I using that term correctly? Probably not. But I accomplished what I had in mind for this fighter. We have this very amazing gun section right here. So this is the full firepower of this ship. You could swap it out for whatever you want. You could have whatever weapons, you know, rail guns, rail cannons, whatever. I wanted to go for something a little mm, basic. So it's got its lock-on missile launchers right here. So it's got two of them and you can shoot them, lock onto any target and they'll They'll destroy them no matter what. We've got this heavy chain gun, so it's just got a lot more firepower, a lot more damage to it. It still reloads just like these small ones right here. Now I wanted these little nose cannons so that if you're in a dogfight, you have guns that are fixed to your character so that you can, you know, precisely hit your enemies. But I mean, honestly, with this amount of weapons it doesn't matter you've got flechettes target your fighters blow them up and then the most important part that i wanted on a fighter was this turret now this turret could be used to attack fighters especially from the rear if you're flying away it's got a lot of forward thrust so realistically you could take this fighter fly straight out of combat and have this turret protect you while you get out of combat ideally in ship to ship combat you know this ship going against i don't know say like a small freighter maybe we'll test that out this turret would protect from oncoming missiles however the downside to this if there's rail guns or rail cannons it's a big fighter it could probably get hit easily but that's what the decoys in these wings are for so hopefully you know flying by enemy ships, they'll target the tips of these wings rather than the main cockpit or these internal components. But uh, yeah, that was the Nightmare Attack Craft and I hope you enjoyed this build. Uh, I hope you take away some techniques that I've used. You know, I used that same kind of hinge technique for the wings to kind of close up the wings and I didn't really show it, I'll show you it right now. But this ship has a landing feature. So I used a timer block to time uh, these pistons and the ends of the wing to fold and retract at the exact same time. So let's just fold up our attack wings. And if we press eight, you can see that it slims down the profile of the ship and I can now land. And the ramp is not totally flush, but I could adjust that. But if I wanted to land on a planet, it is to totally capable of doing so. But that's all I have for today. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please consider leaving a like, subscribe if you haven't. If you didn't like it, dislike. Oh, oh wait, you can't. You can't dislike my video. That's not possible anymore. You can't tell me that you don't like it. I'm invincible, even more invincible than I ever have been. Been. All jokes aside, thank you all so much for watching. I can't wait to see you in the next. And as always, stay thick, stay beautiful, stay healthy, my Chonk viewers. Most importantly, stay Chonk. This has been your Lord Chonkers playing Space Engineers, as always. Bye.